three points a game. Obviously struggled a little bit in the past game. Um, how hungry are you guys to come out and have a great performance primetime versus Wisconsin this week? Uh, we were real hungry this week. Uh, we know we're going to enemy territory. Uh, it's going to be a real one this week as a top 10 team we're playing against, and we're just ready for it. How are you feeling about uh, kind of your production this far? You're leading this team with 755 all-purpose yards. Just kind of talk about your play. I know probably not as many carries as we like last week, but how do you feel like uh, you're playing thus far? I'm proud of what I'm doing, but it's really not about me. It's about the other guys that's that's out there, uh, that's out there blocking for me, uh, sure. also getting the ball out there. And I feel like as a, as a team, we're doing a great job of getting the ball to a lot of a lot of guys and see what they can do out there in space. What are you guys expecting for this environment? I mean, you hear the stories, jump around Wisconsin, Camp Randall Stadium. It, it has kind of a legendary status here in the Big Ten. What has Coach Meyer told you? What are you guys expecting for this matchup coming up, man? Oh, we just going in and focusing. We just I'm our, our main goal and main main objective is to come out with the win. Yeah. Uh, we're not really worried about uh, all the stuff that's going on in the crowd, uh, all, all the noise that's really going on. We just going out there and playing our football and just going out coming out with the win. Curtis, what do you Wisconsin remember? has the top ranked rush defense in the in the Big Ten. And, uh, six ranked national. What do you see when you scout them in that area? Oh, they're a great team. Uh, great sound team. They play. They they play together. But I mean, I love going against top defenses. Uh, it, help, it helps me become a better player, and also everybody else is running the ball and help the line gets better. And, and I feel like it's going to be a great game. Okay, so to me, running against a top ranked defense doesn't sound fun. What, what's fun about it? Oh, you you just you just do things that you didn't think you could do. Like I mean, it just makes you become a better player. You you just do things that that you probably didn't think you could do yourself, or other people thought you couldn't do. And it just it just helps you it helps you as a player. You were part of the fifty nine nothing game. What do you remember about that? Oh, it was a great team win. We left a lot out on the field. We feel like we could have done could have done a lot of things better. You but nothing. Yeah, I mean it's always it's always. Uh, uh, signs of, uh, of improvement out there in our offense. We feel like we haven't got to where, where we want to be yet, and we're pushing through that this week. Hey, Curtis it tells you the passing game will be better this week. We know, we're not going to change nothing we do. They, they're going to play some man coverage, and I feel like uh, our guys, our receivers out there is better than their guys, and we're going to win a one-on-one -on -one matchup. So. It's up to JT to throw the ball and the coaches to call it. I was going to say, what have you felt? What's the vibe you've gotten in practice this week? Did y'all have gotten some things straightened out in that regard? Oh, yeah, I, feel, I, feel, I feel great about that game plan going. Uh, I feel like the coaches did a great job. Uh, JT was out there looking looking uh, really good out there, throwing the ball. Receivers out there running good routes, and I feel good about this week. Hey, Curtis, I think a lot of people envisioned that the Oklahoma game was going to be your first test. But um, since you guys did what you did, they've kind of struggled defensively. I was just wondering, um, what have you seen on tape from Wisconsin's defense, and do you find that this might be your first major defensive test that you're going to face this year? Uh, really like the same thing I said. They have sound defense. They play together. They all fly to the ball. You know, they don't make too many mistakes. And, yeah, that's really it. But I feel like we have a great game this week. Two more questions. Coach Meyer talk, emphasizes the importance of having a balanced offensive attack with the passing game and the rushing game. This year, it seems like you guys have focus on establishing the rushing game to open up the passing game. How important is that to establish that rushing game to help JT out in the passing game? Uh, it's, it's just really about our main thing is toughness. And we feel like our O-line is going to go out there and, and, and take care of that D-line. So we're going to run the ball right behind, right, right behind those guys. We got uh, a, a great line up front. And if it's there, we're going to take it. If not, we're going to throw the ball. Curtis, you, you have to touch the ball a certain amount of times to feel happy at the end of a game, or what, what, what makes you happy being oh, part win. of this offense? Oh, the win. That's that's really all I care about. I don't care about the touches. That don't really mean it means anything to me. Uh, the win. That's all that matters. Curtis, knowing they're Last probably going to load the box against you guys and force JT maybe throw the ball, being through the passing game. How important of a role is the running game this week, even more so in past weeks? And talk about the offensive line. Too. Oh yeah, like you said, they're gonna stack the box, but we still gonna do do what we do. We're not gonna shy away from what we do because they're gonna put people in the box. They're gonna put people in the box. We're gonna just run it right down that throat and uh, and do what we gotta do out there. That's not we're gonna throw the ball. Uh, I feel like the the all line has done a great job this week and previous weeks, and I feel like it's gonna be a great game. Hey, Curse.